Hello and welcome to Easel Talk. My name is Corey Peters and today we're going to talk about grids. It's going to be an introduction to grids and how to draw them. Okay, there's a lot to cover with grids. Um, they are extremely useful for designing your, your composition or your building or your automotive design or whatever it may be, sculpture, etc. Anything pertaining to design. And the thing the, the misconception that a lot of people have with grids is that they think, oh, if I use a grid, then my artwork is going to be really, really stiff. And this simply could not be further from the truth. A grid creates order, okay? And order is something that human beings crave. So when we see good design, you need to understand that there has been a great deal of order put into that design, even if it looks completely natural and organic. So let's, I just really want to hammer this point down because it, it really is crucial. Um, a grid is an excellent tool. Do you always need to use a grid? No. Should you use a grid if you never have before? Absolutely. So you can understand the power of organizing your, your design. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is our center line grid, and this is the grid that we need to start with before we can establish our second grid. So first thing you're gonna do is draw from corner to corner on your canvas, paper, whatever surface you have. That's gonna locate the middle. Okay, once you've got the middle, then we're gonna establish the, the vertical middle line and the horizontal midline. Doesn't matter which one you do first. After that, we're gonna establish those triangles that you see. So you can either start from the top of the vertical midline or the bottom. Again, that order does not matter. So I'm starting from the top, going to the lower right corner, and then I'm starting from the top again and going to the lower left corner. And we'll repeat the same process on the bottom. Going to the upper right corner, and then we're going to go to the upper left corner. And that's it. Now we can establish our second grid. So let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, our second grid here is represented in the purple lines. And this is the division of thirds grid or the rule of thirds grid. And we needed to have established our, our first grid, the center line grid, in order to get this second grid so we don't have to do measuring. So if you take a look there are four intersecting points from the orange grid and we use those intersecting points to establish our division of thirds grid. And those areas are also good areas to locate your focal point. So when you're designing your picture and, and you're deciding where you want to put your greatest area of interest, one of those four intersecting points is a good area to locate your focal point. Also, it doesn't matter what dimensions your paper or canvas or whatever surface you're working on is, that first grid, the centerline grid, will always divide it up into these proportions so that you can establish the division of thirds grid. And this is great because we, again, we don't have to do any measuring. This saves time. Okay, so the third and final piece to our grid here is this diamond in turquoise. And I think it's pretty obvious where, where we are plotting it and how we're plotting it. But because I'm so considerate, as well as sarcastic, I'm going to point out right here and here and there, and the bottom here, those are our four connecting points. So just connect the dots and you've got your diamond. And that is, those are, this is a really good grid system to start with, okay? And in future videos, I'm gonna show you how because obviously if you've never used it before, you don't understand the context of the power of the grids. So. I'll be showing you uh, a series of compositions, different kind of compositions to create and how I use the grid to create them, as well as analyzing master's 
from the past that, that use grids. So we can really understand why we need to use these and how to use these because they are extremely valuable. Okay, so if you've never used grids before, just go ahead and practice drawing those grids out. You may have no idea how to use them, which is fine. I promise I'm going to be delivering many more videos about how to use these grids and how to use various compositions to create your design. And I think that will be applicable no matter what design field you are in. Um, these grids are, are highly useful. So um, you can look forward to that and I look forward to delivering that content to you.